let's see how to draw uh, equation or, or graph straight line using gradient intercept method so this is the equation of a line y is equal to 2 over 3 x plus 1 so this number is your y intercept that means where the graph cuts the y axis so the y intercept is 1 and this number is the gradient or the steepness so you write just 2 over 3 now if you want to graph straight line using these two numbers 1 tells you the y-intercept so you're starting at 1 so plot that point so this is 1 and then this 2 over 3 so I always like to write like this 2 over 3 means you're going 2 up and 3 across to plot the next point so this is one point 0 1 and then you go 2 up and 3 across so 1 2 3 so this is this point and then you draw a straight line so let me insert a line tool so if you draw a line so this is the line and that's uh, let me highlight it and let's drop it so this is the line so extend it on both ends because the line goes to infinity so this equation the equation of this line is y is equal to 2 over 3x plus 1 just like that okay so let's do one more equation so what would happen here what's the y-intercept well the y-intercept is negative 3 the y-intercept is negative 3 this number is your y-intercept and the number with x is called the gradient so that number do, does not have a bottom number. So you have to make up a denominator. So that 2 is same as 2 over 1. Gradient, this top number tells you the rise. I forgot to tell you this is the rise. And the bottom number tells you the run. That means from, so you start at negative 3. So that's your starting point, And you're going 2 up and 1 across. So you can 2 up, 1 across. And here again you can go 2 up and 1 across. So this is, and then you can, I'll insert a line tool, a line. So the line, if you join these three points, so that is a straight line. So this line is called, this line is called y is equal to 2x minus 3, just like that. So let me do one more. Yeah, the y-intercept. You can pause this video and try to do this yourself. So the y-intercept is 3. And your gradient is negative 2 over 1. So how would you plot that point? First, plot the y-intercept. y-intercept is 3. So this is 3 on the y-axis. And then you have to go 2 down and one across so from this point you go two down and one across okay and then again you go two down one across one two down one across two down one across you can keep going two down one across and if you plot the points it will be a straight line okay so if you join the points use a ruler so this is it, this is the line and the equation of the line is is y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. Now if you look at the gradient by just looking at the gradient can you see both these lines have got a positive gradient. So from left to right it's going up. Now this line, if you look at the this line, from left to right it is going down because it has got a negative gradient. So as a rule of thumb, if the gradient is positive, it is from left to right it is it should be going up. Okay, let me finish off with this. So this is the gradient, y-intercept is negative 2 and the gradient is 4 over 1. So what does this mean? So you're starting at negative 2, so this is negative 2. 
and then you're going four up count one two three four and one across this is gradient so this is you're going four up and one across we can't go four up so one two three so this is enough to draw the line and then just join the points and then I'm going to highlight it and drag it to make it a straight line. And good habit to always write the equation of the line on near the, so this line has the equation of y is equal to 4x minus 2.